All right, so I have uh, a lot of assets set up. I've got sunset, I've got a head, I've got mouth, I've got eyes, I've got a character body, I've got different zooms planned, right? Uh, it opens with a wide screen, and then as I zoom in, the sun will still be setting, but it will be showing up in this area. So that could all work out. But I've got all this stuff that's over the top, all these texture overlays. And some of them are going to be very helpful, but I have to decide which ones are actually useful and which ones are distracting. Now this one is distracting, this overall mask. So I'm going to make the decision to delete these, but keep a lot of the texture fills. And then I am going to select them all and put them in groups. So I'm going to call this group um, Texture Fills. <laughs> but because I already have the sun going and I've got lots of other things, I'm not going to animate the mist moving. But if I wanted to, it'd be a simple matter of duplicating the texture fill and then just warping it a little bit, distorting it, skewing it. Except some of, one thing in this is not a texture fill, and that's the can. I need to get rid of that. So. This can be an easy way to do a lot of animation all at once. You can distort your texture fills and just kind of pull them off in different directions. It will add complexity. And I'm just going to make maybe, so that's the first one. That's the second one. I might just make like a four texture fill cycle here. Because I don't want to individually have to manipulate clouds and mist. I just want the appearance of movement. And what I'm hoping is that it helps make the water look like it's not just static and plastic as well to go between these. I'm going to do one more. I got to be careful of hard edges. There we go. <clears throat> All right. And you can see how those will layer up. So I need to give all of those a color. Green makes sense. Okay, my shadow group. Don't think I can use that because that's on my creature itself and my creature is moving. I don't want to have to link the shadow to it each time I animate it. And I want my creature to stand out a little bit more clearly. Got a lot of stuff with individual claws here, you know, the little gr grass between claws. Let's see. I'm not moving that front claw actually. So that could be okay. I could put that in. And the little reflection, yeah, I can I can leave that. So let's merge those together. They don't get in the way. And things I don't care about is called groups. And I'll leave um, with no color. 
all this stuff, all of it's necessary. It's all the components in the foreground. But I'm not going to be animating it. I don't need it as a moving asset, so I just leave it as a group with no color. The sun setting, that's important. That needs a color. Sky. I'll just call it sky. Because when I want to change its color, maybe I play with that later. I can get rid of the background gray, get rid of everything else. So I'm trying to clean this up so I can zoom through and kind of see what's going on. All right, and my whole texture fills, I can just move this all into one group. So even though these are a lot of layers, we want them really easy to navigate. This is my little puppet box. Okay. Now I have what I need, I believe, to do a little bit of an animation test. And the only thing I didn't add in that I'm kind of planning to is the water getting slurped and moving into the mouth. But I'm going to show you that at the beginning of next, next class where you can actually composite in uh, frames from another GIF animation and see if that's useful. So I'm going to save it. These are my assets. And now I'm going to start outputting frames. I know for all of these frames, I'm going to keep it zoomed out. So I'm using this framing, the zoomed out frame. And that's important. Okay, now let me set it up. So my first frame is basically what I'm looking at here. But I'm going to turn on some texture. Right. So this is my first frame. How do I get this into a stage? Well, I need to first make sure all my pieces are in place. My sun is high in the sky. I think it's as high as it can go. Yep. I've got my head positioned with it closed. I have the eyes open. Right. So, and at a regular tilt. So this is all kind of default posture. Basically, I've spent all of today's demos, except for moving the sun, I haven't really changed anything. I've just built the potential to change them in future frames. Okay, so now what do I do? I go to my zoomed out frame. I use the magic wand, select the empty space, which is a perfect square. Okay. Then, actually, sorry, before I do that, actually, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> then I go to layer. Notice that's on the very top. And I say layer merge visible while holding down option. Okay. And I get everything shot into one frame. Then I hit command C because this perfect square is copied. Now I'm going to make a new Photoshop file. Come on. So I say file new and I'm going to call this my stage. And because I have a copy on the clipboard, it's going to automatically have the proportions I need. So I don't need to set the size at all. I just have to name it. So I call it Carl Assignment 5 Stage Animation. Create. Then I paste it in. And that's layer one. It's the first frame of my animation. Now I go back to my PS, ah, not to my PSD, I don't need this open anymore. I go back to my assets, so I have assets and stage open, and I can delete this top merged layer. And now I'm going to set up my next frame, and I'm going to start going from the top by moving to my next texture fill. moving to my head, um, just maybe tilting a little bit. Maybe not that much. Maybe I need an in-between <laughs> so I can add more assets. So I'm going to call this head slightly down. And so move it up a little bit from here. You know, rotate it. So 
So maybe there. And I don't want the eyes closed all the way yet. I want them just squinting. I, I have to turn off. Let's see, where is that coming from? Oh, and then the mouth, I might want the mouth semi-open. Semi-semi-open. Okay, there we go. So you'll see when things look right or not. There we go. So that's the character's position for the next frame. That's all head slightly down. The sun, I move to the next position in the sky. Yeah. And now what do I do? I use the magic wand. I go to my very top zoomed out frame. I select the empty space inside. I then go to layer, hold down option, say merge visible. I say edit copy. The shortcut for that is command C and that will copy just that perfect square. Then I move over to my stage and I hit Command V or Edit Paste to paste that perfectly in place. And now I have two frames to my animation. So notice all that has changed. The mist has changed a little bit. The head position has changed a little bit. The mouth position has changed a little bit. The, uh, the sun has changed a little bit. And I can save that stage. Okay, I'm going to try to go through this a little quickly so I have enough in my stage to run a quick animation test before the end of this demo. Okay, so what do I do now? I delete that top layer. I deselect Command D and delete that top layer. And now I move to the next texture fill. I might move to my head down all the way. And the mouth. Um, semi-open, like that. And the sun even lower down. Then I go to my top frame. I use the magic wand to select the empty space. Magic wand's very good at selecting empty space. Hold down option, say layer, merge visible. Command C to copy, move to my stage, Command V to paste in the new frame, Look at, check it, look at all that's changed. Now I have three animation frames. Introducing my character and showing them drinking. Go back, hit Command D to deselect, delete that top layer, turn on the next texture fill, um, here, while he's drinking, I'm just going to move, I'm not going to change his head position, but I'm going to have his, his eye open all the way. Right. And I'm going to have his mouth go from semi-open back to semi-semi-open. Actually, I'll slow it down so that his eye goes back to squinting. So it'll be a slow blink first. But you get to play with this. This is kind of, this is acting. And I can decide to move his head a little bit if I want. by taking that whole layer and actually, after I made those adjustments, I can just tilt it a little bit. Right. And move the sun down. I'm now on my fourth frame. The sun's in its fourth position. Go to the top, 